Hello and welcome to the Young Author Pod and today we will discuss about the principles of amputation. Surgical amputation of an extremity should be viewed as first step towards a more productive life rather than a failure to save the limb. In this video, we will cover the indications, the types of amputation and the surgical principles of the amputations. The only absolute indication for primary amputation is an established irreversible ischemia in a diseased or traumatized limb that is basically a dead limb. Other relative indications include peripheral vascular disease which is the most common indication, burns caused by thermal or electrical injury and frostbite. The deadly or dangerous limb, amputation for malignancy. The goal is to obtain a more functional residual limb and rarely it is palliative. Potentially lethal sepsis and crush injury. Dam nuisance. This includes the conditions where retaining the limb may be worse than having no limb at all. This may be because of gross malformations. Certain congenital anomalies of the lower extremity are best treated with amputation and prosthetic fitting. Chronic infection that is unresponsive to antibiotic and surgical debridement. Severe loss of function. A recurrent pathological fracture in which stabilization is impossible, amputation may be a better option. Provisional and definitive amputation are the two main types. Provisional amputation is usually done in cases where primary healing is not expected. The limb is amputated as distal as the causal conditions will allow. Reamputation is performed when the stump condition is favorable. A definitive end bearing amputation is performed when the weight is to be borne through the end of the stump. Therefore, the scar must not be terminal and the bone end must be solid, not hollow, which means it must be cut through or near a joint. A definitive non end bearing amputation is the commonest type. Because the weight is not to be taken at the end of the stump, the scar can be terminal. A more distal level of amputation leads to better function but more complications. And a more proximal level of amputation is associated with decreased complication rate but is functionally poor. The surgeon must consider needs of the patient and the comorbid conditions while deciding an appropriate level of the amputation. If ambulation is the chief concern, the most distal level possible is chosen. A tourniquet should be used except in severely ischemic limbs. The skin flaps should be of full thickness and dissection between tissue planes should be avoided to prevent further devascularization of the tissues. Muscles are sectioned at least 5 cm distal to the intended bone resection. They may be stabilized by myotesis that is suturing muscles or tendon to the bone or myoplasty that is suturing muscle to the periosteum or to the fascia of opposing musculature. Myodesis is the preferred method as it provides stronger insertion, help maximize strength and reduce atrophy. Major blood vessels should be isolated and individually ligated. Meticulous hemostasis is desired before closure. Nerves should be isolated, gently pulled out and sharply divided so that the cut end retracts deep into the soft tissue envelope. Crushing the nerves should be avoided 
as it may contribute to post operative pain excessive periosteal stripping should be avoided to reduce regenerative bony overgrowth and bony prominences should be trimmed and rasped to form smoother contour proper bone and soft tissue handling are necessary for crafting a healthy and functional amputation stump poor handling of already traumatized and compromised tissues increases the risk of complications post operatively a rigid dressing consisting of plaster of paris cast is applied to the stump rigid dressings help in reducing edema at the surgical site leading to improved wound healing and early maturation of the stump post operative pain is also observed to be less with rigid dressings leading to earlier ambulation and rehabilitation so this was a brief idea of surgical principles of amputation let us know in the comment section below if you like this video we will be back with another video in orthopedics see you soon